I wanted to see how far I could get in GTA 5 while walking 10,000 steps with my actual feet. The internet, doctors, influencers, you know, all the important people in the world say that you should walk 10,000 steps per day. But that would take like two hours. So what if I told you I could walk 10,000 steps while playing a video game, and my walking actually makes me walk in the game? I'm using an app called Stepel in my phone in my pocket, which makes me walk forward in the game when I walk in real life, and it counts my steps. Link in the description. Basically, this app connects your phone to your computer, and any steps it recognizes from your phone's step tracker presses W on your computer. So with this setup, I started walking. I started at the pier and just started going clockwise around the map. I thought 10,000 steps would surely get me a full loop around the map, or at least pretty close. So, I thought that was a pretty reasonable goal. I've played GTA 5 before, driving around that highway takes like a few minutes. Surely it couldn't take that long to walk one loop around the highway, right guys? I started realizing really quickly that walking is so slow in this game. I like walking. Walking so cool. After a little more than 4,000 steps, I was a little overwhelmed. Dude, we are not even close. So I started right there at the pier. Oh man, we've gone five, we've gone 5,000 feet. We've gone 4,000 steps. Oh no, I think I might have underestimated how long this is going to take. Oh well, let's go. <laughs> Cars were zooming past me and honking at me, and it really kind of just made me miss driving. But, you know, I, I, I had a goal. I had to get my steps in for my health and, and for my family and for the five people in chat that were cheering me on. After about two hours, I finally hit my goal of 10,000 steps, and I had made it to Polito Bay. But I kept walking for a little bit because I was just chilling. And like I said, I was initially wanting to do a full walk around the entire highway back to the pier, but I realized that would take me another two hours, and I wasn't exactly prepared to commit to all of that. So maybe another time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like challenges like this. Anyway, next time I may try to walk the rest of the way around, or maybe see how many steps it takes to walk up Mount Chiliad. Honestly, it was pretty fun to do this challenge. It really made me appreciate the little details of this game. Usually when I'm playing this game, I'm going super, super fast, and everybody wants to get like the fastest vehicle to get across this map as fast as possible, but slowing down and appreciating the small details of this game makes it feel so much more immersive and makes the game feel so much bigger. Honestly, I think everybody should try to play the game like this at least once. Maybe not with the full slow walking, but you know, just the normal running speed of the game. It honestly makes the game feel completely different to have to go through it much more slowly. At some point, I think it'd be hilarious if like I was able to get a bunch of people to do this and we all use this app either in GTA Online or like an MMORPG or something and we all kind of just like slow walk around the game's map where people that are standing by are just kind of like watching this mob of people slowly walking across the map. I think that would be hilarious. If you would want to do something like that, be sure to join my Discord and I'll let you guys know if I plan an event like that. So was this an optimal way to play the game or an optimal way to exercise? No, absolutely not. But that's not really the point. The point is to show you that you can get some physical activity in while playing video games, and I think that that's pretty cool. If you want to see me walk the entire map of Skyrim, or want to know how I set this up, be sure to watch these videos. Thanks for watching.